Okay, this is lesson two, importing and exporting graphics. Uh, we're going to look at how we can um, change file formats, and we're also going to look at how we can optimize a picture. So you should have already launched Fireworks. Um, once you have the welcome screen up, let's go back to the welcome screen here. Uh, once you're here at the welcome screen, you're going to want to click on open. And I want you to open up the bouquet uh, picture. Okay, uh, this is a what we call a JPEG file, Joint Photographic Exports Group, um, JPEG file. And we want to convert this JPEG file to a PNG file, which is a portable network graphic. That's the native file format for fireworks. Well, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is come up here to our menu bar, click on File, Save As. We're going to call this Bokeh 2. And we're going to change the file type here to Fireworks PNG. And we're going to click on Save. Now, uh, I'm getting the message to replace because I've done this before and I've already got the file out there. It should have just went straight to uh, PNG up here at the top. Now, we haven't lost our, our original bouquet flower. We've simply taken that file that we had, converted it to a different file format. And if you look in your picture folder, you'll notice that now you have two graphics there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to optimizing the photograph. Uh, when you optimize a photograph, remember, we're, we're creating graphics for a web page or something. Uh, when you're optimizing a photograph, you want to try to keep the smallest file possible without losing picture quality. Uh, and sometimes that's hard to do. You know, what looks good to me may not look good to you and, and vice versa. But there's some terms that we need to uh, know about before we start optimizing our photographs. One is the color depth. Uh, color depth is just uh, the number of colors that are used in this particular picture. And we'll see that in just a second. Uh, dithering, that's the process that a program uses to approximate the colors that are not part of its color palette. Okay. Uh, you know, the colors may be similar to the ones that you're using. They, they may not be. Uh, but what the program does is it tries to fill in some gaps. Uh, because it's adding some some color and, and pixels to the picture, your file size is going to increase. The other part of optimizing is called a loss, and that's when we try to compress a file and make it smaller. Now, Fireworks doesn't know exactly what you want to do, and it just kind of randomly goes in there and starts eliminating some pixels uh, to make the file smaller. <coughs> it might get it right, it might not. Uh, and this is when you start losing some picture quality. So you kind of have to be careful uh, when you're working with uh, changing the loss setting. And then finally, there's smoothing. Uh, when you try to go through and smooth some of the edges that are in your photograph, uh, again, when you're smoothing edges, uh, that means you're adding more pixels to the, the drawing itself, which means your file size is going to increase. So let's look at uh, how we can preview and export files. Uh, we're going to come up here to our menu bar and we're going to click on image preview. Now this is a preview of the uh, bouquet image that we have. If you can't see your whole picture uh, right here, you can kind of adjust your settings here. Uh, if the picture is way too big or it's too small or, or whatever, uh, you can change the, the setting right here. Uh, but, you know, right here we've got some facts on the picture itself. It's a JPEG. Uh, the quality is set at 79% or 79, which is right here. Uh, we can raise that or we can lower it. Uh, again, the, the more you raise it, the bigger your file is going to get. Right now, it's a 56K file, and it would take about nine seconds for that to load. Here's our color depth. Uh, it doesn't give us a specific number. It just tells you tells us that uh, there's millions of, of colors in this picture. Now, we may not be able to to see them all, but there's subtle changes in, uh, within the picture that, that have it going at about a million colors or more in the picture itself. Now, whenever you're optimizing a picture, it's probably good to see a before and after. So if you look down here in your control box here, you've got a, a two preview window. And if you click on it, uh, you can see a before and you can see an after. And you'll see this dark gray box that's going around uh, to kind of help you see which picture that you have selected. 
So right now the uh, settings are the same, but let's go right here and let's change the file. Let's change it to GIF Adaptive uh, 256. You'll notice that when you do that, we've got a color palette over here. Uh, if I scroll over my picture, you can see the color palette lighting up. It's telling me which color I'm hovering over. Uh, vice versa, if I come over here and I click on a color, it should, you know, show me which pixels over here are being selected. Uh, but you'll notice that um, when I do that, uh, the file size increases a little bit. Now let's come over here and let's select, well, we don't have it here, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, let's try PNG32. Uh, when we choose PNG32, it's almost like selecting TIF, uh, which is what I was looking for right over here. Uh, if we select TIF, notice that the file size increases again. Uh, TIF is a tagged interchange file format, uh, which is basically the type of pictures that you would use for a magazine publication, portraits. Uh, when you're looking for crystal clear pictures, uh, you usually want to use the TIFF uh, format. Uh, let's go ahead and, and click the dithering option. Uh, remember when we dither, we're adding more pixels to the uh, file format. Uh, and notice that this number should get bigger if we click the dithering option. And, and sure enough, uh, it did get a little bit bigger. Now let's come over here and let's just check uh, JPEG smaller file. Well, let's go ahead and uncheck the dithering first. We'll go ahead and take that off and we'll shrink the file size a little bit. Now let's come over here and take the JPEG smaller file. And notice that uh, the file size uh, shrunk considerably okay and if you compare the pictures you don't see a whole lot of loss there uh, but let's go through here and we'll say no smoothing for right now I'm looking for the loss button, but I don't see it. Uh, and it may just be that there's not a loss uh, button when you're using this file format. So let's try changing it to something else. There's the loss. I went, went ahead and changed it back to GIF Adaptive 256. And uh, now when we choose the loss, uh, we're basically kicking out pixels. So let's change it to, let's say 15. And go ahead and select that. I didn't see much of a difference. So let's go back and let's move it up even more. Let's go 50. Yeah, now I can see it. You probably can't see it on the video, but you might be able to see it on your own screen. You're starting to lose a lot of picture quality. If I go back even further, you probably see it changing. If I go up to 100, you can probably see a noticeable difference now. Uh, so the program is kicking out. Uh, pixels there, uh, trying to make the file a little bit smaller. But uh, let's go ahead and, and say, okay, uh, I'm going to go back and move it to like 10. Uh, just, uh, just to leave it. Um, now let's say we've, we've gone through and we've exported uh, or we've optimized our picture. It looks good to us. We want to save it, but we don't want the JPEG format. Well, if you click right here, you've got export. Uh, make sure that you're saving this in your picture file. Um, looks like mine got lost here as far as where it's supposed to be saving files. So I'm going to go back and locate where my files are. There we go. Uh, I'm going to change this to Bokeh 3. And because I have GIF selected here, uh, when it says export, it's going to say images only. Uh, that means it's a GIF file. Uh, all you have to do is go ahead and click on save. And you should have now three pictures out there uh, 
that are saved as the bouquet fly, uh, bouquet one, bouquet two, and bouquet three. So let's look at a few more things that we can do uh, when it comes to exporting a file. Uh, now let's say I didn't, um, I still have my bouquet two open here, but let's say I didn't want to optimize the file. I just simply want to take this picture right here. I want to convert it to another file format to be used in another program. Well, I can come up here to image preview just like I did before. I can click on export and right here I can choose the type of file that I want. So I'm going to call this one Bokeh 4 and I'm going to save this as an Adobe PD. Uh, I don't want well, we'll just save it as Adobe PDF. It's not really what I wanted, but I'm looking for... Um, let me cancel that again. Let's cancel this. We've got our Bokeh 2 open. I'm just going to click on File, Save As. And I'm going to choose Adobe uh, Photoshop PSD. That's what I want. Okay, and I'm going to change this to Bokeh 4. So we did that earlier with the GIF, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that again with the Adobe uh, Photoshop. Uh, finally, the last step that, that I want to do, let's say I've got this picture right here. I want to use it in a publication, but I don't know what format I should use. Okay, uh, so I can come up here to my image preview. And I'm going to go to export. Nope, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to come up here to File. I'm going to come to my Export Wizard. Sorry about that. I'm going to come to my Export Wizard. And I'm going to walk through a series of questions. What do you want to do? Okay, well, I want to select an export format. Continue. What are you going to use the graphic for? Are you going to use it for the web, uh, image editing application, or am I going to use it in a desktop publication? Or am I going to use it in Dreamweaver? Well, I just said I, I want to publish it. So I want to check a desktop publishing program. Click Continue. It says right here that if I want to use it for a publication, the TIFF format is probably the best uh, format to choose. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Exit. It automatically opens up the image preview box. And it's already got it set for what I want to save it as. So now here I just have to click on export. I'm going to call this Bokeh 5. Saving it as a TIF. And click on save. So here's what I want you to do now. Uh, what I'd like for you to do is raise your hand. Uh, call your instructor over. And let your instructor see the five formats that you saved. What you want to do is you want to show your instructor these five files right here. The original JPEG folder uh, file, the GIF, this one is the, uh, no, this one is the PNG, I'm sorry, the GIF, the Photoshop, and the TIF. Uh, have him check those five off and then you're done with this assignment.